Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving through Runaway Bay in St. Anne and we are on the Northern Coastal Highway. Now this road or Runaway Bay is going to get a bypass. So the Northern Coastal Highway will, um, it's going to be four lanes, dual carriageway with a concrete barricade and it's going to be a bypass meaning it won't run through the town it will run on the outside of the town so this road it's very important it takes you from the Sanctuary International Airport to Ocho Rios and so it's very important that persons be able to use the road quickly and easily and with less traffic and actually I'm not sure if the road is going to continue they might take these two lanes and turn them into four lanes or they might build a bypass to run on the outskirts of the town so you no longer have to come through the town i suspect they're going to build it on the outskirts of the town so that you no longer have to go through the town because as you can see it's a very busy town and there are a lot of hotels off this road because to the right is the beach and you have a lot of hotels you even have golf courses down here it's a major not major but it's a tourist area basically and jewel paradise cove you turn down that road you're not going to see most of the hotels from the the road but they are on the beach side yeah so the government is going to be spending 120 billion dollars to expand the northern coastal highway from Montego Bay to Ocho Rios and remember Montego Bay major tourist destination Ocho Rios major tourist destination Ocho Rios actually has the top three tourist attractions in Jamaica Dolphin Cove Mystic Mountain and the number one is Don's River Falls so persons will be using this road even if they're not staying in Ocho Rios but anywhere on the north coast they will be using this road to get to Ocho Rios and they're building three bypasses along the road because as you can see this road runs through the town so you're going to have traffic delays they're building a bypass for Discovery Bay, Runaway Bay and Priory they haven't started the project yet the, the contractor, I mean, obviously, China Harbor Engineering Company, they are in the phase of um, getting the funding together. And this road will not be a toll road. It's not a toll road now, and it won't be a toll road. The Jamaican government is going to be paying for the building of the road out of the budget. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to spend 120 billion dollars in one year it's going to be done over time and they'll probably get loans those kind of things to build the road but it won't be a toll road so this is we're passing a couple of hotels now i think this is beaches on the right and then fdr is somewhere off here On the left you have villas, probably Airbnb rentals. Okay, that's FDR on the right. some time ago there was some heavy rain in this area and this place was flooded a lot of videos went viral about the water and the flooding and out here by the stoplight is one of the areas that were that was flooded you can see the drains there on the right but the drains were blocked or they weren't clean at the time and it resulted in some serious flooding.
the sign you are leaving Runaway Bay and that's a massive hotel wow let's take a look at the name but here principal Jamaica has some really large resorts I must say thousands of rooms at some of these hotels 